Hello, I'm Richard Murphy, and I want to talk about why free ports are such bad things for the UK. Let's be clear, we've tried them before and we abandoned them because they did not work. Why won't they work now when Rishi Sunak is making free ports the absolute centre of his future economic policy for the UK? Well, you can almost work out why when you realise what a free port is. A free port is a place, usually by the sea, but it could be around an airport or somewhere else inland, that is deemed to not be in the UK for the purposes of customs and tariff borders. Now, what that effectively means is that this area is carved out and has its own inland border between the rest of the UK and it. And inside the free port, goods arriving and goods leaving are not subject to customs and tariff duties and other regulations are relaxed. And outside the free port, when the goods leave, there have to be customs declarations. Now, what have we just realised as a result of leaving the European Union? Very simply, that tariffs and borders and everything to do with customs is really difficult. And that the fewer borders that we have, the less obstacle to trade there are. So why are we going to create up to 10 new inland tariff borders and customs borders inside the UK now to simply complicate matters further when we can already see the nightmare that is being created between Northern Ireland and the rest of the UK by having an internal border. It makes no sense. But there are other problems as well. First of all, it's very clear from research around the world, masses of it, that free ports are widely associated with light touch regulation, limited law enforcement, and so attract criminality. We know that this is already a problem in UK ports. We know that smuggling happens. We know that illicit goods and even people trafficking takes place through ports. Why are we going to actually operate new borders run by private companies that will be light touch? Is that the way we want to go to ensure that we have law enforcement and prevention of smuggling and the prevention of a trade in illicit goods in the UK? I really doubt it. But these places are also bad for employees. Why? Because there are more limited protections for employees who work in them. What is more, there's no guarantee that there will be more employees in free ports. Simply relaxing regulation has never been shown to create new employment. It's just been shown to move existing employment. And they're bad for local authorities too. It's not clear that the lost income from not paying rates in free ports will be made up to the local authorities who lose it. Look, these places are all about failure of regulation, the desire to get round regulation, light touch regulation, potential criminality, relaxed regulation for employees, which always prejudices the employee and leaves them vulnerable and potentially being imposed upon communities at cost to local, social and other services. Why do I oppose free ports? Because they're bad for the economy, they're bad for law and order, they're bad for employees and they're bad for local jurisdictions who are going to have to host these places. There's nothing to say in their favour. We gave them up once. We really should not be repeating the experiment now. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in what I've been saying in this video, please subscribe. There is a button below the viewing screen. If you're interested in what I have to say on Twitter, I'm at Richard J. Murphy on that medium. If you want to look at my blog, that's taxresearch.org.uk. And we have a Facebook page as well, Richard J. Murphy. So one of those things will get you more information on what this video series is about. And I hope I'll see you again soon.